Once scoring 47 goals and having 18 assists in 83 games, Mason Greenwood is the biggest disappointment in football history, being a key figure for Manchester United and the England national team. He now faces immense criticism and is one of the most disliked footballers. What led to this transformation? Let's delve into Mason Greenwood's narrative. Hailing from Bradford, Mason Greenwood's journey with Manchester United began at the tender age of six. His remarkable ascent through the ranks at the Manchester United Academy was fueled by explosive pace, close ball control, and a rare proficiency with both feet. Displaying remarkable talent, Mason Greenwood's exceptional skills propelled him to training with the under-18s at the age of 16. Despite competing against players two years older, he not only held his own, but also clinched the top scorer title in the under-18 Premier League. His impressive 17 goals in 21 games played a pivotal role in securing victory for his team in the under-18 Premier League. Even in the under-18 team, Greenwood's performances caught the eye of manager Jose Mourinho, who sought to integrate him into first-team training. However, age restrictions thwarted this opportunity. July 2018 marked a pivotal moment for the young talent. Greenwood, just 17, joined Manchester United's first team during their pre-season tour in the United States. His non-competitive debut as a 76th-minute substitute against Club America showcased his ability to hold his own among seasoned players. Despite his youth, Greenwood's prowess was undeniable. In October of the same year, under the management of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Greenwood inked his first professional contract with the club, solidifying his commitment to Manchester United. His competitive debut came in a historic 3-1 victory over Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. Just four days after his Champions League debut, Mason Greenwood stepped onto the Premier League stage as a substitute against Arsenal in a 2-0 defeat, marking him as one of the club's youngest Premier League debutants. The 2018-2019 season concluded with Greenwood receiving the Jimmy Murphy Young Player of the Year Award, a testament to his outstanding contributions in the club's youth teams. Building on this success, Greenwood secured his first senior start on the season's final day, despite a 2-0 defeat to Cardiff City. The subsequent season proved to be Greenwood's breakthrough, highlighted by his inaugural goal for Manchester United in the Europa League opener against Astana on September 19th. Notably, he clinched victory with the only goal of the game, earning the distinction of being the club's youngest ever goalscorer in European competition at just 17 years and 353 days. The English youngster continued to make waves, scoring again on November 7th in United's 3-0 triumph over Partizan Belgrade, a pivotal contribution that helped the team secure a place in the knockout stages of the competition. Greenwood's evolving journey showcased his rapid rise from youth accolades to making a tangible impact on the senior stage for Manchester United. Mason Greenwood's meteoric rise reached its zenith in the Europa League group stage's final showdown against AZ Alkmaar. Displaying stellar form, he notched two goals and earned a penalty in a commanding 4-0 triumph, securing the top spot for Manchester United in their group. These standout performances etched Greenwood's name among the team's key players. Following a three-month hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Greenwood returned with a vengeance, featuring in all six of United's matches by July 9, 2020. Although he initially fell short of finding the net in the first three games, Greenwood silenced critics by netting four goals in the subsequent trio of matches. Notably, he delivered a brace in a resounding 5-2 victory against Bournemouth on July 4. His scoring spree continued with a goal against Aston Villa, earning him the distinction of becoming only the fourth player under 19 to score in three consecutive Premier League appearances, the first since Francis Jefferson in 1999. Greenwood's breakout season did not go unnoticed, capturing the attention of England manager Gareth Southgate. Consequently, on August 25, 2020, Greenwood received his maiden call-up to the England senior squad. The young forward marked his debut on September 5th in a 1-0 away win over Iceland during a 2020-2021 UEFA Nations League match. 
Introduced as a 78-minute substitute, Greenwood's inclusion in the national squad underscored his growing influence and promise on the international stage. On September 7th, Mason Greenwood encountered his first off-the-pitch challenge when, alongside England teammate Phil Foden, he was withdrawn from the national squad. The duo violated COVID-19 quarantine guidelines in Iceland by leaving the hotel occupied by the England squad. Media reports widely circulated, alleging that Greenwood and Foden had met two women in a different part of the hotel, leading to the two players being sent back home by Gareth Southgate. In the 2020-2021 season, Manchester United bestowed Greenwood with the prestigious squad number 11, a symbolic move echoing the hope that he would emulate the success of club legend Ryan Giggs, who previously adorned the same number. Giggs, a product of the Manchester United Academy, went on to become the club's record appearance maker, boasting an astounding 963 appearances. Unfazed by the weight of expectations, Greenwood excelled in the right attacking position throughout the season, showcasing his prowess with 12 goals and 6 assists. His contributions played a pivotal role in Manchester United, securing a second-place finish in the Premier League, matching their joint best result since the retirement of Sir Alex Ferguson in 2013. Greenwood's stellar performances elevated him to the status of English football's emerging star, drawing comparisons to the legendary Manchester United player Robin Van Persie. This parallel stemmed from Greenwood's ability to unleash rocket shots after cutting in from the wing. As the 2021-2022 season kicked off, Mason Greenwood continued his impressive form, notching five goals and contributing an assist in the first 18 games, affirming his status as a key player for the club. Tragically, Mason Greenwood faced a tumultuous turn of events on January 30th when a series of disturbing social media posts emerged on his then-girlfriend Harriet Robson's Instagram account. These posts featured graphic images of Harriet with visible bruises and injuries, accompanied by captions implicating Greenwood in the alleged abuse. Moreover, videos surfaced with audio recordings wherein Greenwood was heard uttering abusive language, threatening both sexual and physical violence. The gravity of the situation escalated swiftly as Greenwood was arrested by the police on the same day on suspicion of rape and assault. Although released on bail the following day, the repercussions were immediate and profound for the young footballer. Major sponsors like Nike suspended their sponsorship and EA Sports swiftly removed Greenwood from their FIFA video games. Most significantly, Manchester United took a decisive step by suspending Mason Greenwood until further notice. In an official statement, the club declared, We are aware of images and allegations circulating on social media. We will not make any further comments until the facts have been established. Manchester United does not condone violence of any kind. Greenwood, now on bail, was required to remain in his Bowdoin residence near Old Trafford until the trial date. The situation took an unexpected turn when Harriet Robson's family claimed her social media accounts were hacked, asserting that the explicit content was never intended for public consumption. They went on stating their lack of prior knowledge about the events depicted in the posts and emphasized Greenwood's integral role in their family for the past two to three years. For the subsequent eight months, the story seemed to fade from the public eye as Greenwood kept a low profile. However, on October 15, 2022, the saga resurfaced as Greenwood faced a second arrest for breaching his bail conditions. Allegedly contacting Harriet, this arrest coincided with charges of attempted rape stemming from an incident in October 2021. Assault occasioning actual bodily harm related to an alleged occurrence in December 2021 and engaging in controlling and coercive behavior dating back to November 2018. Despite the seemingly inevitable situation, Mason Greenwood found relief as the case was dismissed in February 2023. This decision resulted from the withdrawal of key witnesses, rendering a conviction no longer a realistic prospect. Throughout this entire period, Manchester United refrained from taking decisive action. Despite conducting internal investigations, the club maintained a relatively low profile. Even after the case was dropped, Manchester United remained subdued, leaving fans in suspense about Mason Greenwood's future. 
Due to a negative fan outburst after indicating interest to retain him, the club kept Mason away without selling him, opting for a loan arrangement and increasing the likelihood of his return to Manchester United. Despite appearing destined for Lazio on transfer deadline day, Mason was unexpectedly secured by Getafe on a loan deal. The arrival of Mason Greenwood at the club sparked immense joy among fans, breaking the club's shirt sales record shortly after his official unveiling on transfer deadline day. Despite not engaging in competitive play for over 20 months, Greenwood's gradual adaptation process has seen him reclaiming the form that marked his teenage years with United. Notably, he notched his inaugural La Liga goal against Celta Vigo and showcased the pinnacle of his career with a remarkable strike against Almeria in November. Also, his standout performance in a 3-3 draw against Atletico Madrid garnered significant acclaim, earning praise from even Antoine Griezmann. Getafe's president, Angel Torres, expresses a keen interest in securing Mason Greenwood on a permanent basis, with notable attention from bigger clubs as well. Greenwood is still under contract with Manchester United until June 2025, and the possibility of returning to the Red Devils after his loan remains. While Getafe aspires to secure Greenwood permanently, their financial limitations as one of La Liga's smaller clubs might pose challenges in meeting United's potential high asking price. A strategic move to sell him to a wealthier club in the summer, following a successful season and reaffirming his top quality status, aligns with their financial interests, especially with a sell-on clause in consideration. Amidst the uncertainty, the situation appears quite unpredictable, and our collective curiosity is piqued to witness how it unfolds. As of now, Mason Greenwood continues to relish his resurgence at Getafe. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to express your support by liking this video and subscribing. If you've enjoyed this video, then you'll enjoy the video showing up on your screen now. Click and we'll see you in the next one. The shot comes in from Greenwood, what a goal that is! Mason's his second goal!